So what is your preference, Arca Swiss or Manfrotto? Okay guys, this is just a very short video regarding the mounting of your camera on the gimbal. This is the for the WeBuild Lab gimbal from Xeon. And how you can remove that, put it back on without having to rebalance, assuming you haven't changed the lens. That is important. So if you go to the website and browse to the product description uh, for the WeBuild Lab gimbal, they make a statement about the mounting of the camera and they say the double quick release plates Monfrotto slash Arca Swiss allow easy setup and fast transition between equipment without rebalancing. I kind of challenge that. I mean, yes, um, uh, no. So let's take a closer look at the double quick release plates that they're referring to. This is the, the mounting assembly. And as you can see, you can remove these plates thus. If you've bought a Zion Wheelbill Lab, you'll know that this is a double assembly. You've got the, the top plate, which comes off, and the bottom plate. So there are two plates here. And yes, they were quick release. I did manage to remove them from the gimbal very easily. But really and truly, do they both facilitate the removal and replacement of the camera without having to rebalance? I don't think so. So let's take a quick look at the lower plate, which is the Manfrotto compatible plate. When you place this one on the gimbal, there's a locking plate uh, to start, but basically this slides backwards and forwards. And what this is for is fundamentally to balance the x-axis. So here's the x-axis. And what I'll do is with my camera mounted on here, including the Swiss Arca plate on the top, is I will move this backwards and forwards and then lock it in place once this stays in the same position with the camera on. Okay, so that's, that's the balancing process. Very simple and straightforward. So it makes sense that if you take this off and put it back on, that unless you've made careful note of the, the measurement uh, of where it sat, you've, you've really got to still move it backwards and forwards just, just a tad to get it perfectly balanced. So really and truly, the double quick release plates both of them together don't really facilitate that removal and replacement without rebalancing. So for me, it's the, the top plate, the Swiss Arca compatible plate, which is the most important one really. That's the one that I feel you have to have compatibility with all of your other mounting, whether that be um, a Joby Gorilla Pod or a tripod, uh, whatever, or other, or other gimbals for that matter. So I was on the hunt. Now, keep in mind that when Zion made that, that statement about uh, Manfrotto and Arca Swiss, they make the assumption that you know what Manfrotto and Arca Swiss compatibility is. I didn't. And, and to be honest, I, I, sorry. I, I question whether a lot of vloggers know because, you know, when you're vlogging, you're walking around with your Joby Gorilla Pod. You really, you know, you're not into all these different mounting things. You're just going to like... You might even just be using your, your phone. So why would you even have any the slightest inkling, inkling as to what the difference between Manfrotto and Arca Swiss are? And I didn't. So that was a kind of a problem on my part. Now, obviously, after a little bit of Googling, I, I kind of worked that out and I found out that it was the Arca Swiss component that I needed compatibility with. And really, and truly, I don't care about the Manfrotto, the lower, the lower of the double plates. So what did I buy so that I could mount this onto my Gorilla Pod, for instance? Basically, I got this little device, which is from Newer. Uh, there are plenty of other manufacturers of this. This is the DC38Q, and it will be listed underneath the video if you want to go and look at it. I bought it from Amazon, cost uh, $16, and as I said, it's a newer product. And it's, uh, it's, it's a nice quality. It's cast. It's some alloy of some sort. Uh, but uh, I, I'm, I'm very happy with the finish and, and the operation of the clamp. And very simply, the Arca Swiss compatible plate will slide into that and you can clamp it up. Now, just to keep in mind here, I will show the operation of this, transferring the camera off the gimbal, putting it on a, tr a, a, a Joby Gorilla Pod, and then putting it back on and showing that it does maintain its, its balance and so you don't have to, pre don't have to rebalance. I am at an advantage. I use a camera that is a bridge camera, so the, there's, I can't change the lens. It does have a very large zoom, uh, and for that, I do have to rebalance if I want to actually use that zoom in a shot. 
uh, but generally I'll keep the camera set at its uh, default setting when you turn it on where the, the, the lens will just extend just a, a small amount. Uh, but before I do that, I just want to talk about the, the plate as it sits on the receiver that I bought. So here we see, and you'll notice that, uh, so I've got, I've got the, the locking screw for the, the, the camera at this end, and that's typically where it would be. Normally I'd set this around about five centimeters. That's when I attach the camera. Um, so around about here. And then at the other end, obviously you have this a block which basically registers on the Manphoto component of the double quick release plates. So the nice thing about this is it can't slide off until until you fully open this to take it out. Uh, the other point I'd like to make is that you'll notice the screw is sliding on top of the bracket but it doesn't go all the way and that's because in the middle of the bracket there's a slightly raised part of the bracket so that might be an issue to you it might not but uh, it's not for me for, for sure but just to make you aware that if you're mounting your camera in the middle of this plate then you could have a problem even even in the middle of the plate there's still plenty of room so you know it, it really shouldn't be an issue but just something to keep keep an eye on okay so let's quickly demonstrate the camera moving from the gimbal onto my Joby Gorilla Pod and then back to the gimbal show that it's still balanced it's kind of obvious but I'll go through the exercise. So as you can see, my camera is currently mounted on the, the tripod. The tripod isn't turned on for this exercise, not, not necessary. Uh, I do have the x-axis unlocked, so you can see that the camera is balanced. I'm just going to lock that off, turn my camera off. Take it off the gimbal and drop it onto my Pod. Nice and stable. Finish filming or vlogging. Quickly undo. Back onto the tripod. Turn the camera on. And, and we're still balanced. To me, that's the way it should work. Now, clearly, if I'd got a different lens, if I'd got a, a regular camera body with a detachable, a changeable lenses, then I, I may have to rebalance, right, if I switch the lens out. But for my purposes, that is very rare because typically I shoot just like this. So very simple, straightforward. Hope you found that useful. If you did, please click like. And we'd certainly like you to subscribe to the channel if you're interested in seeing more videos. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye now.